السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهدي ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونتوب إليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن نبينا وحبيبنا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله تبارك وتعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العصدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما Respected elders, brothers, viewers, listeners, with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, once again, we are in the masjid to fulfill our weekly obligation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and express our servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, i.e. of our salat al-jum'ah. We express our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for offering us this opportunity. In today's sermon, we'd like to talk about Masjid, harm for the community. Masjid is a place which is made to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Masjid is a place which is made to connect the servants with their creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Almighty. The slaves and the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they express their servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Masajid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Holy Quran that inna awwala baytin wudi'a linnas lalladhi bibakkata mubarakan wa hudan lil'alameen that the first house made for the people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is in Makkah al-Mukarramah then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in that house there are some qualities. So Allah Azza wa Jalla has said, Inna awwala baytin wudi'a linnas lalladhi bibakkata mubarakan wa hudan lil'alameen. That that house has two qualities in it. Number one, mubarakan, it is full of blessings. And number two, hudan lil'alameen, is a guidance for the entire creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, i.e. mainly for the mankind and for the jinkind. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salam, and since Adam alayhi salatu wa salam came to this world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the arrangements for Adam alayhi salam, progeny of Adam alayhi salam, generation of Adam alayhi salam, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Adam alayhi salatu wa salam or the angels to make a house for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where people would come and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala express their servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the time passed, time came for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was given the prophethood by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala publicly. Declaration of the prophethood of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his prophethood life, he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Makkah al-Mukarrama. He expressed his servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he ordered Sahaba ridwanullahi alayhi wa ta'in as well the companions as one, to express their servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the first 13 years of prophethood of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they were not granted permission to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala openly in Makkah al-Mukarrama. But nevertheless, nevertheless, sahaba ridwanullahi alayhi wa 
with the instructions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated to Al-Madinah al Munawwara, and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was given the power by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to Al-Madinah, and the first masjid Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made, it was the masjid of Quba. La masjid al usis ala taqwa min awwali yawmin ahaqqa an taquba fi. Allah azza wa jalla talks about masjid al Quba, and he says, La masjid al usis ala taqwa. Indeed, the masjid which is established on taqwa, ahaqqa an taquba fi. It has more rights than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You stand in it to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated to al madinah al munawwara As soon as he entered al madinah Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made the masjid. And the reason behind that, the community need to be, the Muslim need to be attached very strongly with the masjid. Masjid is the powerhouse. Masjid is the place of Hidayah. Masjid is the place of guidance. Masjid is the place where people come to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, as far as the masajid are concerned, they have a positive role, they have an important role over the Muslim community. And Muslim community, for their own benefit, they must have a strong connection with the masjid, with the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after making the Masjid al Quba, he proceeded towards Al Madinah al Munawwara. On the way, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam established Salatul Jumu'ah. That was the first Jumu'ah Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam established in Al Madinah al Munawwara. And then, when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reached to the actual place where Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's Masjid is built now, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went there. And the first thing Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam done there, he made the arrangements to establish the masjid. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went there, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam purchased that land, and with the Sahaba ridwanullahi alayhi wa jwa'in, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made the arrangement of establishing Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's masjid, which is known as Al-Masjid al-Nabawi. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam established that masjid, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made that masjid and made arrangements for the sahaba ridwanullahi alayhi wa jma'in and for all of those people who want to learn about Islam, masjid of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the hub for everybody. People will come to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to embrace Islam. People will come to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to learn from Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. People will come to masjid to establish their daily salah. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had the masjid built for multi-purpose. Many of the activities would be carried by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the masjid. In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about those people who will make the masjid lively and those people who will take the advantage of the services of the masjid. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of the qualities of the people who will be engaging themselves with the activities of the Masjid. Bear in mind in one of the hadiths of Sahih Muslim, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, and he has mentioned seven categories of people whom Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will grant a shade on the Day of Judgment under the shade of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's throne. And amongst those seven categories of people, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned رجل قلبه معلق بالمساجد that a person whose heart is always attached with the masjid once they come to the masjid offer one salah they leave and their heart is again reclining towards the masjid in order to remain steadfast in order to remain ready to come for the next salah so therefore once they pray one salah it's not that they never remember to come back to the masjid no they go for one salah, once that is offered, they always make the arrangements to come back for the next salah. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, 
رجلن قلبه معلق بالمسال that a man whose heart a person whose heart is attached with the masjid that person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant them a place under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sha'ash on the day of judgment when there will be no shade besides the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sha'ash so regarding those people who attach themselves with the masajid take the benefit from the masajid take the advantage from the masajid always keep themselves connected with the services of the masajid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-tawbah in the 10th juz إنما يعمر مساجد الله من آمن بالله واليوم واليوم الآخر وأقام الصلاة وآت الزكاة ولم يخشى إلا الله فعسى أولا أن يكون من المهتدين فعسى أولا إكان يكون من المهتدين الله عز وجل سب إنما يعمر مساجد الله indeed there are certain categories of people there are few kinds of people يعمر مساجد الله they will always make arrangements in order to keep the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lively. They will always make the arrangements in order to keep the masajid occupied with the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by expressing servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions who are these? Allah ta'ala says there are five categories of people. They are the ones who have the strong attachment with the masjid and they keep the masajid lively. They participate in all of the activities take place in the masajid. They always engage with the masajid. So Allah Azza wa Jalla says, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ The first and the foremost qualities of those people who keep the masajid occupied, keep the masajid busy, keep the masajid lively, to express servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jalla has said, Man amana billah. Those people who have faith in Allah ta'ala, they have the iman, they believe in all the articles of faith, they are called mu'minun, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they are the first people who will always try and always struggle in order to make the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lively, engaged, and they will make the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala active and they will always remain engaged with the services provided by the masjid, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man amana billah. Second quality Allah ta'ala says, those people who will be engaged in the masajid and they will always take their advantage from the services provided by the masajid are number two, wal yawmil akhir. Those people who will have faith in the hereafter. As far as the hereafter is concerned, it's one of the fundamental beliefs of a Muslim. All the beliefs of Islam, we can summarize them into three beliefs. Number one, Tawheed. Number two, Risala. And number three, Akhirah. Tawheed means to believe in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give the testimony that there is none besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserves to be worshipped. Which we say in Kalima Shahada, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. That I testify there is no one worthy of worship. Besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I also testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the slave and the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third fundamental belief of Islam is the hereafter. As far as hereafter is concerned, it is definite, it is definitely going to come. And on that day, everybody has to study in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and give the recording of their every single day of their lives. Without giving the recording to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding every single action which they have done in this world, nobody is able to move their feet forward. And they can proceed. Without giving the hisab, without giving the recording to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one can move. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those people who have faith in Allah first of all, number two, those people who have the firm belief in the hereafter. That the day of judgment is there and, and I have to stand in front of Allah Ta'ala. This is why every single rakat of salah we recite Surah Al-Fatiha. And in Surah Al-Fatiha Allah Ta'ala reminds us of the last day by saying Maliki Yawmiddi. We say to Allah Ta'ala Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. 
Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. In the third ayat of Surah Al-Fatiha, we recite Maliki Yawmiddin, the master of the day of judgment. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, those people who have faith in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in the last day, they have the firm belief in the last day. They are the ones who will always remain occupied with the services provided by the Masjid. And they are the ones who always strive and struggle in order to keep the masajid lively and active. And they are the ones who always engage with the services provided by the masajid. So the first quality Allah says, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ And the third quality Allah Ta'ala says, وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاةِ And they will establish the prayers. They will come to the five daily prayers, offer the five daily prayers in congregation. And they will fulfill all the rituals of salah. They will meet all the conditions of salah. And they will offer their salah. In the masjid. In the hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant 25 to 27 times more rewards to the people who come to the masjid and offer their salah in congregation. So, وَأَقَامَ salah. Third quality Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Regarding those people who will keep the masajid lively and be engaging in all of the activities of the masajid, those who have established salah, those who establish their salah. And the fourth quality Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَأَقَامَ salah. Fourth quality, after أَقَامَ salah, وَآتَ zakah. That they will be giving the zakat. Those of them who are rich, who have reached to the level of nisab, the base rate for payments of zakat, they will always and regularly pay the zakat. And the fifth quality Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ And they fear not anyone besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those people who have these fine qualities in them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, that these are the five categories of people they will be, Making the masajid of Allah, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, lively, and they will take the advantage of all the services of the masajid of the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I repeat again, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتَ الزَّكَاةَ وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَعَسَى أُولَٰئِكَ أَنْ يَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُهْتَدِينَ Allah Azza wa Jalla says, indeed those people, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ They will be definitely making the masajid, the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lively. And they will participate in all of the activities taking place in the masajid of Allah. Who are they? مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ Those, number one, those have faith in Allah. Number two, وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ And those have faith in the last day. Number three, وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاةِ And those people who have the who establish the salah. Number four, وآت الزكاة and those people who pay their zakat. Number five, ولم يخشى إلا الله and they don't fear anybody besides Allah سبحانه وتعالى. In their hearts, there's only one fear and that is the fear of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Whenever they do anything, if it is right, they do it for the sake of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. And whenever they refrain from something bad, they only refrain from the fear of, because of the fear of one being only, and that is also again the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَعَسَى أُولَٰئِكَ أَنْ يَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُقْتَدِينَ Those people who possess these six qualities. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then said, فَعَسَى أُولَٰئِكَ أَنْ يَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُقْتَدِينَ There is hope that these people who have these five qualities in them, that they are going to be rightly guided. In the beginning of the Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, we recite, Allah Azza wa Jalla said, Hudan lil muttaqeen. Al-Quran Al-Kareem is the book which is the guidance for the mankind. Now there are various ways we can have the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The masterpiece of guidance is the Holy Quran. But in the Holy Quran, after having Iman, after accepting all the articles of faith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions many of the other things as well related to our Iman, that in order to remain constant with our Iman, steadfast with our Iman, we must work really hard. So in this ayat which I have just recited regarding 
people who will be making the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lively. They will participate in all of the activities. They will always arrange the activities to take place in the masajid. They will establish the salah in the masajid. And the five qualities, Allah Azza wa Jalla has given the assurance that these people will be rightly guided. I repeat and then I conclude. Allah said, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ Indeed, those people are the ones who make the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lively. Who are they? Number one, Allah Ta'ala says, مَنْ آبَنَا بِاللَّهِ Those have faith in Allah. Number two, وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ And the last day. Number three, وَاقَامَ الصَّلَاةِ And they establish prayers. And number four, وَآتَ الزَّكَاةِ And they give zakat. وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ And they fear not. They don't fear anybody except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَعَسَى أُولَٰئِكَ أَنْ يَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُفْتَدِينَ now there is a hope that these people who have five qualities in them, that they are the ones who are going to be rightly guided. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability and the tawfiq to remain attached with the masajid, always come to the masajid, have a strong connection with the masajid, come for the five daily prayers, come for the Jum'ah Salah, and whenever there is any activities going on in the masajid, let's participate and let's take the advantage, let's bring myself, bring my friends, my family members, etc, etc, because masajid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Holy Quran, masajid, they are the places of blessings, and masajid, they are the places of guidance. In the life, somebody wants blessings, baraka, and in the life, somebody wants hidayah and guidance, that we must remain attached with the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they are the powerhouses. They are the houses of guidance provided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to uh, remain ourselves attached with the masajid.